Last year, the Eli and I were coming off a 3-9 and nine season. In 2010, the experts picked the Eli and I to finish second to last in the Big Ten. The story would go a little different. Last year's season was a, was a season where we, we, we were in position to win every game. Uh, a new offense, a new defense, a new quarterback, uh, six new coaches. There were a lot of question marks. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't know what to expect from Illinois football. A coming out party, you know, going to our first bowl game since I've been here. You know, to come out the way we did and really show a lot of progress was big for us. Seven wins. Touchdown, Illini! Shieldhouse vaults into the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois! The program's first win in Happy Valley. And Illinois comes to Happy Valley and makes their head coach pretty happy. A win over Northwestern in a historic venue. And Illinois is won over Northwestern 48-27 at Wrigley Field in Chicago. And a return to the postseason. Shieldhouse going deep and what a grab. The shore busting it outside. Diving for the end zone. He's going to score a touchdown. Oh, are you kidding me? We have a lot of momentum going into this year after winning the Texas Bowl. You know, the expectations weren't very high for us. Not a lot of people thought we were going to do, you know, anything very good. The Illini would raise their own expectations for 2011. Camp Grand Tour is just a, it's a grind. There's no other way to put it. It's just day in, day out. Right, no running away from it. It's football 24-7. Try to keep getting better and better. Um, doing all the little things necessary in, in order to be a champion. Just getting better as a team in all three phases, offense, defense, special teams. You're not just preparing for one team. You're kind of preparing for the whole season. I think we all need to take really big steps, you know, coming out of Grand Tour, offense and defense. So. Leave everything out there. Just know that I came back here and left everything I could out of camp. That camp is a big time for us to get better, and uh, I'm sure we will. I'm excited to see where we are uh, you know, as a football team starting in August. The preparations in Rantoul have already begun. Thank you. <laughs> Before the Illini would report to Rantoul, they would have three split squad practices in Champaign. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Offense! Break down! Break down! Break down! Defense! Break down! Break down! Break down! Give me two! What we do is, is we, we split the squad in half and, and really have two practices. So. Uh, they're not out there that long, but the coaches are. Come on now, let's get it cranked up out here. Get ready to go! It's tough on both of us, but the coaches might have the hard draw in that because they're out there all day and out in that sun. And... As a young guy, the split squad prices were a little bit overwhelming. I think they're great for the younger guys, you know, because they can get the reps that they wouldn't get when we come together as a team. It does a good job of getting us in shape for camp, so when we get to camp, the practices aren't nearly as nearly as hard. We've just finished up loading up uh, load number two to go to Rantoul uh, with all the field equipment. We're looking at uh, you know agiles and, and uh, shields and pop-ups and cones and, and uh, you name it. Anything we use for practice on a daily basis, we'll be putting the back of the budget truck right now. Uh, we're going to take it up to Rantoul, put it in our tent that's out there. The players will pack their bags with all their equipment, helmets, shoulder pads, shoes, all that type of stuff. Take that to the locker room, ready to go for Monday morning.
the Illini would put on their game day attire for the last time prior to the September 3rd opener. Off to the two week cruise, Ran Tool, here we come. Really haven't practiced in a year, so I'm very, very excited to get to Ran Tool and uh, see what see what it's like to be back with the team and um, it's gonna be a very exciting place to be you know just because you know it's been it's been away from me for a year so I'm just ready to get, get to it it's a very different and distinct place here we go camp rent tool pulling in right now our home for the next two weeks Here we go. Ah, into the mansion. 1207. See my roommates here already. Mm. Has a walk-in closet. Not really much use. You know, the bathroom. Then over here you got your your kitchen stuff. You got a little refrigerator, microwave, sink, whatever you need to do. This phone right here is for wake up, so that's very important. And we got our Gatorades, Gatorades in the in the hotel room. And uh, that's about it. That's where we're gonna be for the next two weeks. For the next two weeks, for the next two weeks, remember why we're here. We're here for all 12 of those, okay? And so we're gonna prepare for 12 weeks. And you gotta help each other stay positive in what we're doing, in the direction we're going. In the end, guys, it's you guys, you guys in this room. You guys are gonna be the guys that decide what we do, okay? And just like we said before, the more, the more we're like this, the more we're like that, the better chance we got. And as I said, remember why we're here. We're getting ready for 12 games, getting ready for the whole season. Remember this, the best chance you have of reaching your goal is help everybody in this room reach their goal. Best chance. Get a break. Offense in there. Defense stay here. One, two, three. Compete! Compete.